Hey guys, how you guys are doing? Whew, I tell you, there's nothing. And before I, before I go any further, I wanna let you know, I just wanna be real quick, but I'm telling you, the presence of God is so amazing. It is so amazing. I just wanna go um, right quick with you guys because I really feel God just dropped this in my spirit and I just had to release this thing, his presence. Psalms 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. That's powerful. You know, we often read that word. We often quote it. But David was saying, you, God, meaning God, will show me the path of light. See, God, see, David knew long as I stay in your presence, that you will show me the path of life. And in this, in this, your presence will fill me with your joy, with your peace, with your love, with your compassion. All of who you are. All of who you are. And again, for those that want to be churchy, this ain't for you. Because yes, we know that we'll never be perfect. But in his presence, in his presence, God will show us the path of life in his presence. We will have the fullness of joy, of his peace, of his love, of his compassion. Oh my gosh, there is nothing like the presence of God. Nothing like the presence of God. The presence of our Father is so amazing. It's so amazing. The kabod, the glory of God, my God, is so many things. Stand in the presence of God. Stand in his presence. And for those just that's weary, those who just feel down in their spirit, just lay before God. He already know where you are. He already knows. Just cry out to him. Cry out to him. Give God some of your time. Lay before him. Give him some of your time. You know, you know, it's a process as growing as growing into, you know, land before God, getting into just, you know, uh, whether it's 15 and just gradually grow, just gradually go up, you know, just gradually expand your time with him because he, he, he will meet you where you are. He knows where you are. Just draw to him. Draw nigh into the presence of God. Draw now. In this day, we're going to need his presence. We're going to need the presence of God, my God, the kabod, the glory of who he is, the glory of who he is, the glory of who he is. It's so amazing. <laughs> my, my, my heart just leaping for joy because why is his presence? No matter what I'm going through, no matter what I'm facing, no matter what I'm dealing with, his presence, it erases all that. Because once you are in the presence of God, those things begin to release. The weights begin to release. The heaviness begins to release. The stress begins to release. The depressed state begins to release. Oh, he is so awesome in his presence. Try him. Try him. Try him today. Don't wait. Start today in his presence. And I guarantee you, you wouldn't come out being different. You would not be the same when you go into his presence. Hallelujah. See, some people just think it's just all, oh, you know, we got to come in. Yeah, we got to come in right. Because sometimes, because God said, those who worship me must, must, must worship me in spirit and in truth. You know, we can't go in and try to go into him the wrong way. We got to come in the right way. Because as I always say, there's an order of God. And we have to do it the right way. We have to do it the right way. 
We got to repent before him and ask God to just renew us, to cleanse us, you know, because we want to go in right. We don't want to go in and say, OK, as long as I can get into the presence of God, I'm going in because I won't, you know, you got an agenda and a motive. But when you go in into his presence to know of his splendor, of how marvelous he is and how great he is and how beautiful he is, my God. He is so awesome and he is so great. When you just love on him, when you would just allow his presence to come in, when you allow his presence to come in and take over and take over <laughs> and take over, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Do something. If you, if you hadn't done it before, it's not too late. It's not too late. Draw nigh unto God, and he will draw nigh unto you. His presence, my God, his presence. <laughs> That's all I got to say, his presence. His presence is fullness of joy. And at his right hand is pleasures forevermore. Whew. I'm just, I'm just so, in, I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe with his presence. Oh, my gosh. He is so awesome. So, you know, just, just, if you hadn't done it before, like I said before, just try him. Give him a try. Do something you never did before. Give God a try. He's waiting on you, sweetheart. He is waiting on you guys. He is waiting on you. <laughs> he is waiting on you. He is waiting on you. I don't care how filthy you were. I don't care all the sin that you've done in the past. When you go to him the right way, you repent and you get it right. And draw nigh unto God and just love on him. Just love on him. And he will love on you. He will love on you. <laughs> he will love on you. I promise you he will. He will love on you. So I just want to, I just want to just, just share with you guys, you know, just in prayer and Oh, my goodness. I mean, he would just overtake you with his love, his compassion. I mean, all of who he is, the combined of who God is, his glory, would just take over, would just take over. It would just take over. Amen. Amen. I decree and declare and I activate. Father, with your sons and daughters on today, he said, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. If you hunger for righteousness, not to be perfect, because we will never be perfect, but you hunger for the righteousness of God, right judgment. If you hunger after the, after the things of God, if you hunger after him, he said, I will feel you. I will feel you. I will feel you. So God, I just ask that you feel your people as they draw nigh unto you in this hour, in this time, in this season, in this very minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you will, if you like this video, you hit like and share. Give it to somebody. Somebody else need it. If you need it, I guarantee you somebody else need it. They need it. And I just hope you were blessed. And I just pray, I just pray that God would just shift your heart and your mind to draw nigh unto him as never before. Do something that you never did. Try God. Try him. You should be tired of doing things your way. And it's not going the way you're you, you expecting it to go. But if you allow God to come in, to step in and take his rightful place. Oh my shandere kosata. Oh yeah, you will go through things. But when you know that God is on your side and you know you on the right side, haba shedebe kosata. And you on the right side. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the enemy try to make for bad, God is turning around for your good. How about Sean? If you believe that on today, I'm in agreement. So I just thank God I'm in agreement. And I just thank God. Thank God in advance for what he's getting ready to do in your life on today. Draw nigh into God. Draw into the presence of God. And watch the hand of God. And watch what he can do. In Jesus' mighty name. And I decree and activate it to come forth. In Jesus' powerful mighty name. Amen.